In the depths of the sky wanders light Silent in its journey through the endless night Hello, Comet Chasers. This June, we have an exciting lineup of bright comets to explore. We'll continue following 12 P. Pons Brooks, which is still putting on a spectacular display in the Southern Hemisphere. We'll also delve into the details of its complex tail. Additionally, we'll follow its little sister, 13 P. Olbers, and stay tuned for the latest on the intriguing C-2023A-3 Tsuchinshan Atlas. Is it still on track to be a memorable comet in the fall? 12 P. Pons Brooks is an evening comet visible in binoculars as seen from the southern hemisphere. It is fading after its closest approach to the sun on April 21st, but is still spectacular in images. 12 P. Pons Brooks will be visible in small telescopes and binoculars all month long. As June begins, it is at magnitude 6.2 and will fade quickly, by about 1.4 magnitudes by the end of the month. It is moving through Lepus into Puppis. Look for a 4.5 arc minute coma with a diffuse spot in the center indicating moderate condensation. After its closest approach to the sun, a significant dust tail emerged. Dust makes a comet appear larger and brighter, so southern hemisphere observers have had a better view than those in the north. Most lay people confuse comets with meteors, which quickly burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. The trail of a meteor is made of ionized gas from the atmosphere and tiny debris left behind as it burns. As a result, the trail left behind shows its path through the sky. People assume that this is what we are seeing in a comet's tail, but it is not the same thing. Comets are in deep space, not the atmosphere, and despite the impressive speeds you may hear about, they are just orbiting the sun like the Earth is. Consequently, they move more like planets and don't streak quickly across the sky. So what are we actually seeing in the amazing images taken of 12 P. Pons Brooks in May? The gas produced by the comet when heated by the sun is easily blown away by the solar wind, creating a long, thin blue tail. The sun is near solar maximum, so the solar wind is strong and quite variable, producing ever-changing knots and swirls in the tail. The gas tail always points directly away from the sun, so the comet may be moving at right angles to the tail. The particles of dust are more massive, so they take longer to be blown away by the solar wind, and the result is more like the dust is left behind as the comet continues along its orbit. As a result, the dust tail spreads out and is more of an indicator of the comet's motion than the direction of the solar wind, so it does not always point directly away from the sun. This is why comets often have two tails. The dust reflects sunlight, so it appears white in color. It's unfortunate that 12 P. Pons Brooks stole the show. If it hadn't, 13 P. Olbers would have likely been much more celebrated. As it is, it seems mostly forgotten. But here it is, a Halley-like comet passing close to the sun for the first time in 70 years. So be sure to take a moment to track down 13 P. Olbers the next time you are out observing with your telescope. When people ask, you can tell them you saw a comet they likely will have never heard of. This comet passed closest to the sun on May 30th at a distance of 1.2 astronomical units, so it has now officially begun its slow trip back out into the cold, dark outer solar system. This comet is visible all month in small telescopes and might be glimpsed in binoculars in the closing days of June. Look for a coma with a diameter of 2.5 arc minutes, featuring a diffuse condensation at the center. It is moving from Auriga into Lynx, Despite reports that it has not been brightening as fast as expected, C-2023-A3 Tsuchinshan Atlas is still on track to put on a good show in the fall. But you don't have to wait for the rest of the world to catch on. It is already visible in a small telescope. Such a treat so far in advance is unusual. Greg, the astronomer behind this channel, fondly recalls spotting hale Bop in a telescope not long after its discovery, months before it came to the attention of the rest of the world. This is your chance to do the same, and better yet, you can watch it grow and change with each passing month. Brian Finn Valente took this wonderful photo on May 29, 2024. He said it was approximately 2.5 hours total integration in the RGB filters, and reports that the tail continues to elongate, although color and detail are still somewhat muted. Also captured in the field are the distant galaxies, 
NGC 4116, the closer of the two, and NGC 4123. Both are magnificent barred spiral galaxies. Processing a composite image like this one is a true art form that takes a great deal of time and effort. As we wrap up this month's comets, take a moment to appreciate the experiences and discoveries you've made while observing these celestial wanderers. The joy of spotting a comet with your own eyes and tracking its progress across the sky is a unique and rewarding adventure. Stay curious and join us next time as we continue to chase the novel stories that dance through space around us. Until then, clear skies and happy comet chasing.